Okay, here is my video on how I make vegan carnitas. These here are the wet ingredients and dry ingredients. I will list them in the description box below. Now, if you can get your hands on the Onkin Farms broth base in the ham flavor, I highly recommend you do. If you can't, just use whatever vegan bouillon you have on hand. We started with three cups of vital wheat gluten flour and half a cup of nutritional yeast. And now for the garlic powder, that's one tablespoon. And the granulated onion, that's also one tablespoon. About one and a half tablespoons of the ham flavor, bouillon, and half tablespoon of the smoked salt. Now let's combine all of those ingredients until they're mixed well and start off with the wet ingredients. I used one whole can of white beans. I believe it was 15.25 ounces total, including the liquid. One tablespoon of agave syrup. Two tablespoons of white wine vinegar. Four tablespoons of liquid aminos. Two tablespoons of sesame seed oil. and one tablespoon of liquid smoke. Now blend all the ingredients in a blender until nice and smooth. We're now gonna mix the wet and dry ingredients together. Now this is two cups of hot water, but I did not use the entire two cups. I only used a cup and a half of water. Now this was where I was creating the recipe, so I was careful to add about half a cup at a time until I got the desired consistency in the dough. I went in and mixed with the spoon first because the water that I used was on the warmer side, and then I went ahead and kneaded with my hands for no more than five minutes. This is the consistency of the dough after it's been kneaded for five minutes. That's all you need. And it is quite stretchy at this point. We're gonna cut it in six pieces and we're actually gonna let that rest for an entire hour to let it work its magic. To create the balls, I simply took the dough and kind of tucked it in towards the back side. I then rubbed a little bit of oil over it just so the dough wouldn't dry as it was resting for an hour on my countertop. Now this is what it looks like once it's rested. I'm going to go ahead and cut it and knot it. I cut it right in half but not to cut it in two pieces. I still leave it as a whole piece. I stretch it out into a longer piece and this will allow me to knot the dough. This is a very important step. Do not skip it. This is what actually creates the shreds in the dough. And once all the dough is knotted like this, you're gonna cook it, slow cook it, that is. Uh, I have a slow cooker. I just set it on a slow cooking setting for two hours. I do season the broth. You do want it to be tasty, otherwise it pulls out the flavor from the dough. And I use my chicken, uh, vegan chicken flavored consomme broth base. This is what my slow cooker looks like, and I set it to cook for two hours. And these are the results. You get dough that is shreddy. Now, it is quite wet because it absorbs some of the water, but if you just let it sit or squeeze the water out, you'll be fine. It will shred nicely. This is the day after after it's just been resting, and it is more dense the day after, so I would suggest you shred it when it's still warm. It's easier to shred, but either way, you get beautiful results. You get beautiful shreds that could be used in many dishes. 
Now, I used it for vegan carnitas, and this is how I made them. I started off with some olive oil, and I fried the shreds until nice and golden brown. I did add a bay leaf in there. I actually forgot to add that to the broth when the seitan was first cooking, but it still worked out. I also used a little bit of orange juice, a little bit of, of that uh, ham flavor seasoning, and salt and pepper to taste. I actually did add some rice paper, and that's what you see in this clip here. These have a nice consistency, a little bit of a chewiness when you bite, um, a little bit of crispiness because it's fried, and then that rice paper gives it a really nice chewy consistency, similar to cueritos. And these are the tacos we made on the first night. The second dish I made, I cooked the seitan similarly to the carnitas where I just browned it. I then added some salsa verde, made some rice, some beans, and some homemade tortillas. As you can see, it's not that difficult to make. I hope you guys get inspired to make seitan. Let me know how it goes. Comment on the section below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.